Hey friends and welcome. I have $154 here today and I'm gonna do some fun things and I also apologize in advance because your girl is not 100% right now. I've been a little bit under the weather with some kind of extreme exhaustion for the past week. And then right now I feel like everything is trying to kill me with, I don't know, crazy insane allergies, inability to breathe, and then allergic reactions to everything in the world. So my face, I'm so glad you can't see my face right now because uh, it is an allergic reaction mess. I don't know what I had a reaction to it's just it's annoying but while I have been struggling physically I have been loving the Olympics just a reminder that this is a freebie that's available right now and I'm trying to I'm trying to pace myself I love the Olympics and so I have been obviously I'm an Aussie I live in the US I'm considered an expat but I, I, I love both countries I don't know who to cheer for and then this morning I was watching some German slalom guy who did who got a gold medal and I cried for him. So I'm an equal opportunity person, but I'm Team USA and Team Australia, except in the pool where I am an Aussie all the way. And Ariane Titmus, oh my gosh, when she got her gold medal the other night, I cried, I cried, I cried. So that's why we have the national anthem here, flag bearer, because I love during the opening ceremony that they had the reference to that guy from Tonga who wore his shirt off for a couple of times. I'm so glad that he didn't do it in Paris last Friday night. And then of course I did watch the opening ceremony. But let's get into my budget. The first thing I do every week is I have a hundred dollars that I split into my weekly binder and I also try and do some things with my week ahead which is my long-term savings and this is just supposed to be quick, dirty and easy. And so my priorities right now this month are obviously medical. My priorities are also the Lizmobile. So we're gonna, this is why every week this month I have been giving money to it um, and it just allows me to determine okay from week to week which is a priority and which isn't. Week ahead I want to make sure that that gets some money and that so that's $60 right there. Let's do 10 for family, 10 for gifts, 10 for head to toe because that already has a pretty good amount of money and then I have a hair appointment coming up in the next week actually this week and then 10 here so now we have a hundred dollars already budgeted let's get it in the envelopes so like I said, I have been loving the Olympics and if you have been too, let me know what you've been watching and what you've been enjoying. I've had many of you say you can't watch the Olympics because it costs to watch them. Where I live, I, I have a very cheap antenna that is attached to my TV and that's how I can watch primetime Olympics. And then I also do have the hookup from a friend who gave me access to watch the more live things. So I am I'm bootlegging that and if you have a nice friend I hope that maybe they would help you but we're gonna keep this bootlegging thing a little secret between you and me. Ten dollars is going into gifts. I learned this week that someone at Murbucks who I love and adore by the way I'm a barista at that place where we wear green aprons this person is just put in their two weeks notice and this is kind of like the first person that I really had a connection with um, and I'm sad that they're leaving. The whole reason why they're leaving is because they applied for a position as a supervisor and and the two people that applied, neither of them got the job. We have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 130 for head to toe. That feels amazing. And so because they were turned, both of these people were turned down. One of them is actually leaving and I don't fault them for leaving. It was really, it was a really crazy situation. What happened is that someone else came in to be hired from another store and then that ended up not working out. So now this person ended up superseding and taking that position. That's the information I know. I'm sure that there's some politics behind it all. I'm just genuinely sad that this person is going to be leaving because they have become they have become a friend and they're also a, an incredibly hard worker too. So I will be missing them. 20, 40, 60, 80 in household. And this feels good that we're stuffing this back up and getting it full again. We're gonna put 20 in medical and next month my money get, starts kicking in for my health spending account. And then I was um, having a conversation offline with some other people and 
learning about how they have their health savings accounts and basically if it is a great way to save if you're in the, in the United States it is pre-tax dollars that oh yes pre-tax dollars that come out of your paycheck and you basically never get taxed on them if it's for a medical expense and some people say well you can buy feminine hygiene products you can buy contact solution you can buy all of these things but when this this account gets to a certain level of money you can actually invest that money so my plan is to obviously not use this flexible spending account money for day-to-day -day items I want to be able to build it up so that at some point maybe it will become the buffer for our annual deductible. We have 100, 200, 280 in medical. I'm on a medication right now that is $80 a month. And so that's kind of why I've been working really hard at boosting this up. And I will have to refill that, medi that medication pretty soon. So we're going to flip ahead to Lizmobile. <laughs> My dear friend took her car into the shop and then had a five $500 repair and then the light came back on three days later after she had it back. Lizmobile has 500, 600, 700, 800, 820 and I felt like that would be kind of my dumb luck that that would be what would happen to me and then I would be out more money and I, I feel so bad for her because she is sweet, she is young and she doesn't deserve that. The last thing we're going to do is put this $20 into a week ahead. You'll see this. I was so excited. You guys were excited about this too. We're going to do $20 and let's pick a sticker for this one. And I'm just going brown, basic, basic brown. And we'll take that. So $500 and twenty dollars in my week ahead fund and the one thing that i don't have i'm not doing this week is i'm not going to do my tips but i did earn nine dollars in tips in the last week but just heads up i wanted to let you know i do have four l bucks that i'm adding but i have already colored this in just in the interest of time just in the interest of editing so just wanted to show that emily is so cute you guys are adorable with your comments about emily and she has been so excited because now now she has reached 25 e-bucks and she's like I don't know what to do with them I'm like save them for Australia so that's what she's doing with those if you were here one month ago you knew that I was so nervous about saving this $100 and this was going to be an extra debt payment to my car and I I took that challenge and somehow we made it work 20 40 60 70 80 90 100 I have been thinking about this for the past few days and so excited that I get to transfer that money along with the $25 in the L bucks that I received from uh, my friend Cindy the other day. That's an extra $125 that's going to my car payment. I purchased a used car a couple of months ago. It's not a gorgeous car by any stretch. Has 180,000 miles on it, uh, $5,000. And pretty soon, I think within the next month, I will be able to say that I've successfully knocked off $1,000 from that loan. The next thing I want to do is finish my savings for my New York trip. I'm probably also going to take some money from my Bank of Mum envelope and I might also take money from my family fund. I'm going to write down how much I take from each envelope. That way if I don't spend it all then at least I can return it. But this money is specifically for New York City and I can't believe we get to finish this but it just it is always every time I finish a challenge it just reminds me of the first time the first time I started a challenge and just the excitement that I had at being able to start it and finish it and I feel like it, I know that there's people out there you are so dedicated you get your paycheck and you allocate your money and you're so good at doing that and I just honestly feel that doing this is such a great way to reward yourself. Is it a little, is it one of those things that you give to a toddler when you're trying to toilet train them? Yeah, I mean, it's the same methodology, only it's for adults. And guess what? The reward system actually works out so well. Uh, so I, here we go. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140. Did I even count that right? 100 
I didn't even, did I not, I didn't even give myself the $10. There we go. <laughs> Shall we do it again? 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, and officially $150. I'm gonna use my little beaver paper clip. There we go, $150 saved for New York City, and I'm going in a couple of weeks. And now we have $20 left. Oh my gosh, what are we gonna do with it? So here's what we've got. We've got $20 left and I'm going to split it between a CD ladder and also my Astrea fund. And I realized last time that I did this wrong. So let's try and do it right. By the way, I would call this noughts and crosses. You probably call it tic-tac-toe if you live in North America. Either way, it's a fun game. And both of these binders are from Marlene with Snow Gardener 307. And so I, I did this wrong. So let's just, we are just gonna go along and gonna have fun with it. And I'm just gonna take this middle one. The middle one is a $2 star. And this is going to go to my September CD ladder. I am saving ahead already for September, which feels super crazy for me. Emily did such a great job with this challenge last week. So let's finish it up. And $8 going into this challenge here. And this is gonna be money for Australia. One, two, three. I did have a question like, why am I going back to Australia so soon? One of the things that I think some of you might remember is that my family owed me money when we were in Australia. It's not that they owed me, it's that things happened at the last minute and my mother offered to pay for half the, half the airfare. And then we weren't given that money when I was in Australia and then when I returned back to the US. It was money that we didn't spend. I came in significantly under budget for that trip and my family sent $2,000 back. And I have had that in a earmarked travel fund since we returned in February. And the whole plan was that we were going to be returning either for a funeral or again in January. So that is the whole reason why I've had the money. Otherwise, it would have been another 17 years before I was able to return. And the only reason why I'm gunning to go back again so soon is one, because of my mum. She turns 90 in the middle of August. So just trying to take advantage of seeing her again that would just warm my heart and then also summer Australia sunshine there's I don't know what there else is to say about that and it is just one of those beautiful things my fit oh we we did it we got tic-tac-toe already we are noughts and crosses okay so another two dollars for this and then also because now Marlene did admit that she she accidentally put this as bingo but it is you know tic-tac-toe three in a row and oh, there was someone who actually copied this binder and put it on Amazon and they even copied her typo so I'm calling it I'm calling it tic-tac-toe three in a row but you guys know what I mean and then we have this pizza what do we Marlene has the prices down here Marlene has the prices down here. So let's see what we're going to do. Um, a droopy slice of pizza is $3. So I'm going to really, I'm gonna give it all brown toppings. I'm also going to say that this is a vegan margarita pizza. And the whole reason why is because too much cheese is not my friend. So we're gonna do $3 for this challenge right now. So one, two, three into my Australia fund. And let's go down and start finishing this one. So I'm gonna do top left and this is $5. Okay, when I gave myself the numbers, I wasn't thinking. And so this takes my last $5. But do you know what this means? This means that we already have this saved ahead for my September CD ladder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. And then we're gonna add a little bit of money to Australia. And that is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But that's it for me today, guys. I appreciate you all and I'll see you next time. Bye.